Hi guys, I'm Philip. So today I'm gonna talk about free modeling and winter garden design. So let's draw a rectangle. Then we're gonna start our rectangle area. Then we're gonna start. So click in this button. Okay. So now I'm gonna explain on top lah. So in free modeling, you can import right a DWG file, DXF file, and SKP file. So for example, okay. Let me come to this. Study material. Okay, let's say SKP file. Okay, I open. Okay, you can place in anywhere you want. Okay, control Z. Okay, I import again. Okay, let's say this one. I place in here. Okay, so you can get the file. Then you can edit it. You can click on it. Then you can ungroup it, ungroup it. Then when you success ungroup, so you can move lah, you can move it, move it around. Okay. Later I will teach you the button lah. So now you just understand we can import SKP and this one also. Oh, this one called the XF file also can. Oh, you see here. Okay. So let's say upload. Oh, the XF. Okay. Then you can play with it lah. Oh, later I'm gonna teach you how to play with it. Okay. Like this. Just. Oh. But one thing ah, I need to let you guys know sir. Please make sure your internet is not only smooth or it's very fast or because this one require a very high speed. Okay, if cannot, you will show you will see button break or keep breaking, waiting, waiting like that. Okay, or or hang ah or anything. Okay, that mean you cannot import ah because your internet is not fast enough. Okay, so coming up we got this one here also. Or I just show you here. At the corner, you will see this one. Got a building, got landscape, got member, a lot of thing. Okay. Okay. After it load, okay, you can see you can drag houses, or or some landscape also can. Okay. Just drag outside lah if you want to build outside. Okay. So make sure your internet is very high speed lah, or else you just need to wait. Okay. Okay, can use or I think this one ah, this one is the most often used lah. Okay, the stair. Okay, so depend on what staircase ah, because air house is for lazy person. So if you want to draw staircase, you are not required to draw a cell lah. Sometimes you just drag out and do some modification. That's sufficient. Okay, drag out, then do some modification on it. Okay, so if you want, then you can keep it. Okay, I'll just let you know the method. Okay. So coming up, we have this one also. This one is uh undo la ha. This one is redo, and this one draw line with seed line, rectangle, and polyline. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to use the button here. So you see line. Okay, you can simply draw anything you want or anything you want. Just join it. Okay, that become one surface. Okay, it use surface to do design. Okay, I did it. Okay, you not only can click line here, you can press the button L also. So you see the mouse will become an icon. Okay. Coming up, we have rectangle. So you can press R also. You see R. So I press R. So I simply draw a rectangle. Okay. By the way, before you draw a rectangle, you can set your rectangle size. Okay. You may see here. I click here. Then move it. Okay. Let's say length now is three eight three. Length I want it six hundred. Okay. Then I click tap on the keyboard. You will shift to another rectangle, another square. Then you can tap like five hundred. Then press enter. Then you see the rectangle automatic create. Okay, follow your skills. Okay, right click exit. Remember lah, air house always right click exit. Okay, another one is this polyline. Okay, polyline you can draw a lot of thing, but it's a calculate by age. Okay. So if let's say I do a polyline here, okay. So you can see the radius is the number of the biggest. The bigger the radius, the bigger the hexagon. Okay. 
So this is a hexagon. You can drag la, or you can draw. Or if you want circle right, you just change the edge more than like 50. So I'll make it uh, 80. Okay. Press enter. So I just draw it. You see, it becomes circle. The more the edge, the smoother. Okay. So maybe you can put like 30. Also can if you want. No? This is how you draw circle. La. Okay. Remember this one. Okay, this one, this one all are surface la, ha. Just remember. So if you want to make it 3D, you just come to here. Oh this one sketch. Okay, you just click it, surface, then you can exclude it. Okay, click it surface, you can exclude it. Okay, simple as that. So if you want to move the item right, okay, my advice to you. If you move now, you will move surface like this. Okay, you press M, you can move. Okay. You only will move the surface or huh? control Z, come back. Okay. If you want to move the whole item, you can highlight it first, control highlight it first. Okay, select all the surface, huh? select all the surface, then press this one combination or you press ctrl g also can or oh, they are same so become a group already then you can move so let's say i press m then i can move it yeah okay another button this one is offset la. offset you know la. you can click here you can offset the item okay then you can create one more layer again or oh, this one I'll offset it One more layer, then you can create another pattern. Okay, offset zoom. Okay, zoom is not about this one, the size. Ah, okay, or oh, you see, cannot you need to undo zoom most mainly for the uh, surface. Okay, in this free modeling, mostly on surface. Okay, they mostly talk about how to do the surface. Did it. Okay. Let's this one. I did it. Yes. Oh my god, I did it. Once I did it, the surface now becomes something like this. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'll search it first. I uh, know. I use this one as example to let you know easier. Okay, this one, let's say I ungroup it. Okay, this face, right? I want to exchange it so you can use zoom. Okay, you can make it big or small. Okay, this one select. Okay, let's see. Let's say I make it bigger. Ah, you see something like this. Okay, or make some it smaller. I ah, see something like this. Okay, it's all about surface, like guys. All about surface. And this one roof right uh, is very simple, also using surface. So let's say I select here, I select roof or the surface roof. Then I can use lighting uh, or if you remember the ceiling function I teach you. Uh, you just drag on it. This one you just select lah. Oh. Select. Let's say I select lighting or oh. circle lighting. Choose. So you may see all the lighting around the surface lah. Oh. Oh. the surface. Okay. It's according to the surface lah. So another one is this one. You can see this uh, pet sketch up. Okay. You can draw. Uh, let's say I'll draw here. Okay. I'll draw here. Okay. Right click. So computer asks you you want to put line. This one is the lighting how if you want. If you don't want you can put skirting also can. So I put a skirting. To skirting. Ah, see? Skirting come out. Okay. It's very convenient uh, using this method. Okay. You do whatever you want, the lighting, what you want to play, also can use this one. Okay. Uh, I'll try to play with the lighting also. Simply draw something like this. Okay, then I use light tube, also can, see, light thing, oh, simple as that. Then another one is this one, uh, the texture, so you can put any text you want, like AI house, AI house, uh, you can choose the type, the font, the depth, the height, the height I put 300, okay, level, this one, uh, one vertical, uh, level means horizontal, uh, okay. So that okay, you just click place. So you see your AI house here. Okay. If you want to edit, you can edit it here. No? 
simple as that. You can create words also. Oh. If you want lighting, you may follow it out and do the lighting. Okay, on the surface, I think also can. This is the surface. We put off, cannot. Okay. Uh, okay, after that, we have this one. Oh, add actually You can just click on it here. This one may help you to do the dimension thing. Lah. Let's say I put 1000. I see 1000. Another one, 500. Let me see 500. Okay, later I will teach you how to use it. Okay, later. Okay, so clear all first. And this one is the measurement, lah, so you can measure your item. See how long was it? Oh, if you want, okay. item. Back click. Okay. So now follow me, lah. Huh? We're gonna do this one called how to make good fly object. Okay. I'll delete everything first. It, so I zoom up, zoom in first, select it, then delete. Okay, uh, see? Sometimes uh, you didn't select it, you cannot delete. Okay, so now uh, follow me first. Uh, we do the how to make group line object. So you just add this one, or oh, we add this one. I'm gonna make a group line object. So let's say this one, you put uh, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, this one also. This one put uh, one two zero zero, okay, and this one also put one two zero zero, okay. Here, then you make one six hundred, okay. Another one, you also make it six hundred. Okay. Then you will see why I call you use this one to do. Okay. So very simple. When you want to draw something, you just follow the line only. Okay. Uh, we add. We add one more accelerator. Okay. Here. Oh, we make it like nine hundred. Okay. Later we come out nine hundred and another one. I make it like fifty. 50. So this one will be the goof line. Okay. Just draw it using line. Okay, draw it. Follow here. Just draw it. Okay. So now we have a surface. Okay. Then if you want to add a stir sheet, okay, you can press button F also. Okay, you can see the button, same thing. Or oh. then you can stir sheet until here. So the height you can set 900 enter okay so you see we got one object here okay after that you can click on the surface or okay let's say you want to search another one okay you can press F search it then you press shift you can copy one so you can copy one another one put here See two layer, okay. But today we don't use this method, lah. Okay, control Z, control Z, undo. Um, so how to copy, uh, guys? Just to let you know, lah. You can press button F, move it. Then you can press this one, shift button, shift button. You see cross got a uh, uh, there. Then you select this surface, okay, move one. So you can. Uh, Copy one. Uh. This is how you copy. Press shift only. Okay, remember. Uh. Then here I'm gonna make one offset. Okay, offset it. Offset here. This one I make it 50. Uh, so you see something come inside. Then I make it come up like 50 only. Okay, 50. So later you will see good fly uh, like that. Okay, after that, we just group this one, okay? When you done something right, make sure you group it. Or else, or later you do some edit right, you will affect. So, Ctrl G, group it first. Okay, 
which is a group block, so you lock already. Okay, same theory as SketchUp. Okay, you click on it, then you press M button, move this one. Okay, move this one down. Okay, so now we're gonna select this one, X, stir sheet. Okay, just stir sheet. This is something like this. Stir sheet all the way. Okay. So now you may see the goof line or oh, simple as that. That's why we say this one can create a lot of things. Depend how you creativity, okay? And you can clear all the auxiliary, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna teach you how to create corners and skirting. Simple, just now, like I told you, you just select the surface only. Also select the surface here. Okay. Let's say I don't wanna add create a surface. I create skirting first, like skirting on this area. Okay, I can use this button, the new function. Okay, this one. So, click here, click here. Okay, I'll select here until here, okay, until here, until here. Control Z. Or sometimes when you draw something wrong. Just you control Z, then right click. Okay. So skirting right, I'll just choose one. No? Choose one as a skirting. Ah, this one, the weird one. Okay, choose. Okay. There is anything. Ah, see ah, uh, my skirting is at the bottom ah. Uh. Never mind, guys. You can click here. You see at the bottom here, you can edit it. So I'll just make it come out simple. Oh, come out and face out. Okay. Okay. Great description. Same as the cornice, lah. Huh? Same as the cornice. Okay. Or else you also can do something like this. Okay. You also can do something like this. Select the surface. Select the surface. Okay. This one need to ungroup block like this. Okay, Control B and group it. Okay, I'll exit first. Uh, remember, you must exit. Okay, or else you are still in this uh, function. Exit. Then select the surface, and group it. Okay, like I told you, only can select surface. So select surface. So this one you choose. Loop also loop. Same. You choose cutting. Uh. Just now I choose which one. Uh, cutting should be. Uh, Something like this. Uh, this one, maybe. Okay. Then after that, you edit it. Uh, you just edit it. Uh, okay. Uh, choose the different one. But never mind. Just let you know. Uh. So you maybe you choose back the same one. Uh, then you can create the same skirting. Okay. So if you want a skirting, you can keep it. If you don't want, you just delete it. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. Here you can adjust all the thing, you know, size also. So the next one is texture apply. So simple. I'll just go out right. Like those thing in uh, modeling, oh, they all can just drag the texture from crop. Just drag. So maybe I drag this one. Uh, decorative picture. Wood grain. Okay. Maybe I drag this one. Oh. You see, okay. This one is one surface uh, applied by one surface. If you want to drag to a group, you see, this one is a group, right? You can press Ctrl to apply a whole group, or you just apply surface, also can. Okay, let's say I apply the whole group, press Ctrl. Okay. No, I don't press Ctrl, it will apply the whole group. Okay, Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z. Okay, it said. Press Ctrl to can apply the texture to the minimum group. Oh, I forget I ungroup already just now. Okay, make sure you are grouped together. Lah. So this one, let's say I delay the texture first. Delay the texture first. Delay the texture first. Okay, I go in. I group the whole object. Okay, group the whole object. Then return. So just drag it. Okay, I'll drag it, then I press control. Uh, then you will see. Make sure your item is grouped, lah, huh? then you will do it faster. Lah. 
this one if you don't want then you change change okay simple as that and the texture you can edit also guys you can see click on the texture you can edit it you can see you move it or you make it bigger change size also can up down also can okay you can edit the texture by clicking the surface okay Okay guys, now we come to this one winter garden now. Come to this winter garden. Okay. Uh, just get up first now. Get up here. Then you may come to... Okay, go to 2D. Go to 2D. So uh, you create one of the... One of the rectangle. Just to show you when you got double story how you do. Okay. Let's say you got ground floor. Then you another one uh, second floor. Okay. So I drag one square. So simply uh, adjust the size lah. Okay, let's say this one is four three five five. Enter. Four three five five. Enter. Okay. So this is uh, so this will be our second floor lah. Oh. Let's say you got two floor. Then what you can do? Okay. So you can uh, come to two D. Okay. So after that you go to here. This one custom aluminium door. Okay, aluminium door here. You can click this button window garden. Okay, this one it will help you to do a window. Okay, not only window, also can do something like uh, this one called glass garden balcony. Okay, so first we select this one. Now we select this one. Okay, wall mode. Okay, then we just copy control select this one press the button M if you know the just now I teach you so you can click this one here and make it join here okay make it join here so later right click so later here will be our uh, glass garden balcony I will do a glass here the glass frame here to cover it okay simple as that okay now we're gonna create a window first. Okay, create a window first. I'll teach you how to create a window by using window garden. Okay, so uh, window garden. <laughs> so okay, let's say I add uh, this one, accelerator. Oh, it's almost same as the this one. It almost same as the free modeling. Okay, just this one for mostly for outside construction. Okay, so let's say I click. Same thing, exit first, uh, okay. Add here, add here, then move out. Okay, so let's say this one is the window, uh, I'll put 600. Okay, then add another one. Uh, okay, this one should be here. Add another one, the sub line. Uh, just add another sub line, maybe from here, 900. Enter, and add another one uh, until here, like. One two zero zero, okay. Okay, then we continue. Just add another one. Oh no, add here. Drag one five zero zero, okay. So now we have a shape there. Then we just click this one. I'll create a rectangle only. Just create that rectangle, okay. Then we click on it, okay. So we can search it also. Okay, we stash it like this one. My wall usually 150, right? So I put 200. Okay, enter. Right click. So we can click on the surface like this. Click on the surface. Okay. Then you can click this button to make it as a facet. Okay. Oh, forget. You got two surface. Okay. I'll just undo first. Undo first. Okay. Stash it. Two hundred. Okay. Then right click. Right click. This one. The outside surface. The first surface we did it. The second one. Okay. We click on it. The second one. Okay. We change it to facet. So you can see. Now we have a open one. Open facet. Okay, so you click on here, it's still a surface, uh, guys. Okay.
okay then we're gonna create a window okay create a window like this one click this button or when you see the error go inside that means we'll create to inside okay not come out so we create inside uh, no 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 sorry yeah because uh, my surface is here right so I want it to come out outside okay so I click here okay I click it again click here ah, so it come out okay so click it click it again yeah too far okay on oh, surface select the surface first okay select the surface okay click click this one ah, outside so correctly then you click 2D okay so this one is the window we're gonna create uh. simpler simple just select the window first let's say casement window then I click the this one the frame okay I just do a double one uh, double window okay like this just drag okay then you just click complete no? this one uh, will teach on the Saturday class also special on the how to create the window okay So you just follow my step click first in the end when come to this window topic aluminium window then you can uh, learn more lah. okay so another one we're gonna open a hole here okay okay open a hole here simple just uh, use a rectangle or uh, simply open uh, if you want open uh, exactly then you may need to use the auxiliary lah. okay so I got one rectangle here then I move it Oh, remember stir it first okay stir it uh, no, this one stir it okay go inside 200 and then okay so I'll click on the surface okay click on the surface click on the surface okay this one mean do inside here uh, no this one the first one I did it okay so another one another surface here okay we just click here or oh, usually we have two surfaces uh, I'll just remember uh, this one we're gonna create the sliding door simple you just click on here you see this one or oh, make sure angle is correct uh, this one will do the sliding door here okay if inside they will do inside uh, okay okay so make sure this one is sliding door uh, or oh, we've got a lot of type select sliding door then library drag the automatic one okay simple then here remember change it to top rear first lah. okay after that you can come to here just drag any door here also you will do lah. simple as that okay okay uh, what is this uh? okay okay complete first uh, never mind complete first Okay, this is how we do the siding door. Okay, now we're gonna do the glass garden balcony. Okay, how to do? Also very simple. Okay, simple. First, you control select this one. Oh. Select this whole rectangle box here. Okay, make sure this one is a group first. Uh, oh. So we don't disturb it. Okay, successful combine. Okay, this one is a group. Okay, then we come to here, create rectangle. Okay, create one rectangle, new rectangle here. Okay, so this one is the new rectangle. This one just delete it. Okay, select this one, new rectangle. Click on this search. Okay, search this uh, up to here. Okay, and this one we do some pattern. Uh, okay, just to do some pattern. Uh, you're gonna move this line. Okay, move down a bit. Uh, so it's slanted, uh, look slanted like this. Okay. Okay, second we just choose a face. Okay, so for example, choose this one. So we make it Fakali. Okay, so you see something like this. This one, uh, choose it. Okay, Fakali. Okay, this one also choose it. Make it uh, the error I want go inside. Lah. Okay, error go inside. Fakali. Okay, on top also. Switch to Rome first. Okay, uh, be easy to control. Okay, this one also. Click again. 
ปกติโอเค so after that very simple you click on the line loop select the line okay select the line so this one is the corner one so we're gonna select the corner one now. Select this one okay uh, okay this one select this one okay so make sure it's correct huh? select this one okay this one corner half of the corner okay select it okay so this one make sure it's rotated lah huh? because it's not in the right position okay we can click loop select this one then we can rotate it let's say I uh, mirror it up uh, front back Okay. Make sure the fillet is outside now. Make sure the fillet is outside. Okay. So it's correct. Okay. Okay. Then this one, we need to select loop line again. Oh. Oh, when you rotate it, make sure fillet is outside, now, guys. Okay. So this one, you select the line. Okay. This one is uh something like this one. Slanted. Okay. So we select this one. Got. 160, what 75? So select 75, 175. Okay. Okay, and make sure this one is the CH has been facing downward. Make sure the CH is facing downward. Let's check uh, the CH. Okay, facing downward. Okay, rotate it, select, select, loop, edit, select this one. Okay, then we rotate it, we mirror it, mirror it again, rotate it. This time I rotate it. Okay, and the C, this one is the C. Lah. Oh. So the C facing downward, we mirror it. downward here okay the C okay okay so we continue mm, okay this one should be fine then uh, okay so we continue uh, the wall beam okay select uh, this one line loop every time you want to create this one you need to click on line loop okay so this one is the wall, okay. I will just select the wall one, okay. And this one also select the wall, okay. We create it together. For now, first select it. Uh, wall also, okay. So make sure uh, they are in the right position, uh. For example, this one, okay. Loop edit lah. Uh. We're gonna edit it. Okay, uh, maybe I'll turn around, turn this on here, uh, on here, okay, 90 degrees, minus 90, then I'll with it, So you rotate it to the right position, to the right position. Okay. Yeah, look right. Okay, continue. Okay, and this one also lah. Oh, well, you see, it come out already. So it's not correct. Uh, we just rotate, uh, mirror it. Okay, then rotate it. Uh, try to rotate it. This okay, then mirror it up. Hmm. So they got inside. Okay, make sure it's inside the wall. Uh, okay, okay, now for the top right, this one we click on line roof also. Select the top. Okay, select the top line. Uh, 
Uh, this one we select this one uh, top bin okay make sure it's <laughs> correct also uh, make sure it's incorrect also okay so just click on it loop edit click on it uh, rotate it yeah make sure the C is there down it first okay make sure this one is here then this one you can rotate uh, okay make sure the C is here lah, so you can get your your glass okay this one to see okay C is here okay done exit okay now we're gonna create the glass the, the glass door very simple also you just click here okay click on here uh, select the surface uh, design click on here okay make sure this one is inside the arrow is inside okay this angle then click this one oh. we're gonna create the glass door so first I'll just drag this one on door first okay go to the side and uh, we divide it to two okay here will become window uh, here I'm gonna do a window also okay here I divide it to two also okay then for window you just drag this pattern on uh, this pattern just drag on it it will become window okay after complete just click complete okay so if you want to know more about uh, the 2d things right you uh, will have a chapter on it okay so now just follow me first click on it okay make sure this one inside also uh, okay surface uh, remember the surface okay so make sure the error is inside uh. Uh, inside then click here okay same thing uh. you drag this one and divide it to two okay I'm going to do the window okay I'll free the window here this one divide to two also okay then we just drag the window here okay about this one, uh, we'll talk more on the aluminium doors chapter. Okay, so you can refer there. Mm -hmm. This one also. Oh, select the surface design. Click on the pen. Okay, drag this one. Do the same thing. Just do the same thing. Oh. Divide it. Okay, adjust it a bit. Just it a bit. Okay, click on it, divide also, drag the glass, the window. Okay, simple as that. Okay, simple as that. Complete. Okay. Okay, after create already, so we just check lah, huh? check. Just randomly check. Okay, fit. Check. Uh, ah, this one not fit. Okay. So we need to click on it and adjust it lah, okay? Just click on it, click this one, adjust it. Simple, just move out only, okay? This one, move out, okay? You click on this one, the line first, click on the line first, okay? Point on the line, okay? Then this one, change it like 50 lah, change it like 50, okay? Okay, so a gap here, then you move this one out. Then click complete so you see it will go up simple as that okay then check here perfect okay so now the last thing simple you just come to here on top okay top here same method just click this one surface design surface design then uh, select it okay this time you choose this one oh top surface they have different meaning now huh? so you select it has successful to select that as top surface so click it again come to here 2d design okay so this one a bit different you can click on this button roof design okay you will see this one uh, with the grill line okay so this one you can change the grill line but first you can set the glass uh. oh, this is by quantity this is by the number uh, the size of the glasses uh. 
okay so let's say I want to change it to 500 okay and this one I put 900 something like this then I can set the grill also okay set the grill line this one is the 500 uh, 900 and 500 okay so let's say I set the grill line this one I make it like this oh, I make it uh, half la, half la. Oh, this one make it half uh, see it can move uh, the grill line okay, maybe I make it half more a bit like this I can uh, I want more a bit uh, okay something like this uh. okay you can set the grill okay or you can change the angle so if you want see change like this no but I don't want uh. okay about the pressure line later I will show you uh. so the we just click this one uh, how with pressure line then let okay just click generate okay so we go off first uh, to see the difference between uh, pressure line and without pressure line so you see the glass below have a pressure line on this one okay so I go back to the okay surface again I'll go in this one okay so this one if you don't want you can just delete first okay just delete so create again so maybe this one uh, I select um, generate uh, the one pressure line okay and I think this one should be fine like this. Uh, maybe I move up a, a bit here. Set the grill line a bit. Okay. Rotate it. Mm. Yeah, and move it again. The wheel. No, one. This, uh, this one is better okay then after that I click generate okay so we have a sliding door uh, we have a glass uh, on top here so if you want to add a door opening or uh, usually will add up because it's too tall okay if you want you can drag okay so I complete it first so you may see this one is the uh, without pressure line you see here perfect okay the pressure line okay okay and this window uh, uh, let me see uh, if I click the face okay, no. okay. okay so remember lah uh, you can return exit okay you may see uh, window create already you are inside the window garden oh so if you want open the door you can uh, just click on the surface press O wrong or oh, this one press O Ah, see, click on here, press O, we can open. Click on the door, press O, you can open. Oh, okay, so one of the advantage, like if you are using customization, oh, mostly can open the door. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.